Hi, my name is Bill Weiss, and I'm the author of the book 23 Minutes in Hell. Thanks for watching. Now, some people state that the rapture cannot take place until every nation hears the gospel and the last Gentile is saved. But is that scriptural? Well, let's first look at the verse. Matthew 24, 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Well, notice it's the end that comes after the gospel is preached throughout the earth. The verse doesn't say that the rapture cannot take place until the gospel is preached throughout the earth. Now, according to the book of Revelation, the gospel is being preached during the entire tribulation by two witnesses, by the 144,000 Jews, and those who get saved during that time, and even by the angels. And that's in Revelation 7, 3, 7, 9, 11, 3, 14, 6, and 14, 13. Now, Revelation 7, 9 states, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes. These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Now, the Believer's Bible Commentary, page 2364, says, These are the Gentiles who will be saved during the great tribulation by trusting the Lord Jesus. And Matthew Henry's commentary says the end of the world shall be then and not till then when the gospel has done its work in the world. So there are many Gentiles saved during the entire seven-year tribulation period. Now the following verses indicate that the believers are already with Jesus when he returns. Therefore, the rapture would have already taken place prior to his second coming. 1 Thessalonians 3.13 says, The coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. Zechariah 14.5, The Lord my God shall come and all the saints with him. Jude 14, The Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints. 1 Thessalonians 4.14, Them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. And then Colossians 3.4 says, When Christ who is our life appears then you also will appear with him in glory. Revelation 19, 14 says, And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now these next three commentaries comment on that Revelation 19, 14. The Believer's Bible commentary says, These armies uh, are no doubt made up of the saints. The MacArthur Bible Commentary, page 2032, says, composed of the church, the tribulation saints, the Old Testament believers, and even angels. Jameson Fawcett Brown's commentary, page 1582, says, the glorified saints whom God will bring with Christ at his advent, they that are with him, called chosen, faithful, as also his mighty angels. So God's angels and the saints return with Christ at his second coming. Therefore, the preaching of the gospel to the entire world is not a requirement before the rapture can take place. The preaching to the entire world is accomplished during the tribulation.